Okay, here we go again then. Um, sure. Let's go this way. All right, follow me. Hmm? Hmm? Someone else has been here. We should move. Loot. Supplies on base. Pieces and there's art. Wait, do you hear that? Folio was torn in several places, and blood was soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine and Gwyffin artifact. Follow had it was pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this jam leading to a hidden treasure, and that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I heard to select these in the morning, then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Didn't turn out too well. Um, Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Yeah, that's. symbol. I'm pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Where'd that slime come from? But there's just slack of something dark and tall like runs down this wall. The shape and boulders in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use my water skin. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an integral belief of the man's face. The sun bears surrounding it is chipped away in places, but the detail of his head from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. Cloak. And so. 
What you need? Okay, let's move on. Let's go back to where we came, I think. See, this is from um, where we look at the torches. Some of these lights are gone, so we can go across. But we're going to take a long way. That looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Some push to push it down. This is strong. And there we go. I, I could scout ahead. See what's around the corner. Oh, we just fucked them. Fight! Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm path, too. Spiders. I hate spiders. I'm on the other side. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled hardware and metallic veins, ominous illumined like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colourless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be a contemplation, and your mountains point you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick grey beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen. And he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jet out like the wings of some marvelous creature. Oathbinder bear witness and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath. Full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key 
be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Hmm. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth and be assured of the great worth of your life's course. The apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells up back into your skull, washing your last thoughts away and into the black and conscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, crammed and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below, its sugar and texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. And silk over the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen. But immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, struggling questions, qu questions that must be answered, or. At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick grey beard and ceremonial robe. Crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now, at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question, above all. And the question spins madly in your mind. Whistles are audible at the edge of your ear, like a rhythm in your ears that does not subside. The movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go about treatment for long. Figures of the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hailed and Kalishka lie bloody on the uneven coals, their bodies twisted and naturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Okay, so time to escape. But... Hmm. Now we can survive.
plants. Let's see. Let's see. 